Hello, and welcome back again. Um, <clears throat> so, last time we put together a parts list for making electric engines, and I may have counted the number of iron smelters required, uh, five too high, not sure. Uh, but anyway, we have this parts list. So, the most obvious thing that we can start to glue in is the engines. Now, we needed an odd number of engine builds, so it we are going to put this down centered on this side. Um, then we have two copper smelters on this side of the build. However, this side we have one fewer engine builds and one more copper. So I am wondering if this is the solution that we... Right, so if I put that there... Right, then we have one extra copper build here. Now, um, let's delete this because it's been placed. We probably have to move it again. I really want the copper smelters to be hard up against this copper machine. So let's start by doing that. Okay, so that's copper smelting feeding into copper coil. That can go. And again, this is copper smelting, let's just check. Yeah, that's copper smelting. Okay, so this can go against the... Yep. Now, we have a beaconing issue here. We'll fix that in a moment. So that can go. So. Right, so this beacon here doesn't touch the smelter. We need to move it over one tile so that it does. Ah, the problem is if we do that, it doesn't touch the coil machine, okay? We need, what we could do is shift this machine one to the right. Now that's got a full 12 beacon coverage, and this retains a 12 beacon coverage, and this retains a 10 beacon coverage. Okay, we'll have to do the same fix down here, I expect. Do we? No, this one's okay, because it's on the other side of the build. We'll have to finagle whatever goes there. Oh, I put this down on the wrong side because this needs to be by the copper. Okay, so let's undo that. Okay. Grab this again. Right, we needed this, that side next to the copper. Okay, so that's got full coverage. Let's get rid of some of this. Okay, that has full coverage. That does, and then this does. Okay, let's go back down to this one. Yeah, that's all fine. All right, so the two green circuit builds are fine now. Um, it is, let's have a look at what these actually take in, in terms of numbers. Okay, so two circuits, one engine. Um, and there's lots of places the engines are made quite slowly. So I'm, thinking that the green circuits should be made nearer the front, where they're nearer to 
a drone port. Um, because I want to minimize charging if possible. I certainly don't want this on the back row because that's a lot of taking materials all the way to the back then taking them forwards again. So maybe I push all of this back, put the green circuit build on the front. Then we wrap everything up with, with um, lots and lots and lots of iron smelters until it looks sort of square-ish. Um, I really want this green circuit machine to be placed right in the middle of the build. Okay, so first of all, let's take a blueprint of this green circuits. Put it down there for safekeeping. Move it out of the way. Okay, then I want to take a blueprint of this, which is our build so far. Then I want to delete most of it. But I want to leave in those beacons as a ladder so that when we put it back down, there we are. So that's still placed where it was. Then the green circuit build, this can then be placed in to the center. Okay, and we'll have a look at the beacon coverage. Okay, so let's put some more. That has 1414. Um, that's not powered, which won't be helping. 14, 14, and normally these have 14, so we are good. Um, let's move that to there, that doesn't harm the green circuit build. <coughs> Excuse me, got an annoying cough. Right, if we shifted all of these to the right, would that be a problem? I'm just trying to line them up here. I'm trying to work out what isn't aligned as per usual. Hmm, not sure. Okay. So I think if we took all these out, put them back like that, that's still 14, 14, yeah. Then we have the choice of pipes or gears into the remaining gap. Okay, it looks like our pipes build is... Yeah, it looks like some of our stuff we've done with the beacons leaning one way and some of it we've done with beacons the other. Okay, so that's our pipe build put in. Now, it probably doesn't need all of those speed modules. Um, we may take some of them out. Okay. So then let's do essentially the same thing down here. This is our green circuit build 
for this half. Okay. The other benefit of doing this with the green circuit builds next to each other is um, the um, smelters are quite close together. Okay, so we don't need that, or that, or that. What we do need is this green circuit build, which we're going to have to move all the beacons of. Okay, so this is green circuit. Oh, very annoying. Okay, yeah. Then we can take a blueprint of this. which is our half build. We have circuits and that, so now we can remove both. Okay, so then green circuits, let's put this back. And we want the green circuit machine to be centered. But we also that might be the right place, we'll find out. Let's take this build, we want this to be centered. Um, and prior to us taking it away, that exactly fitted. There. Okay. Yep, that's lined up. Okay, brilliant. So, um, let's take out all of these, take out all of these. about right. Then uh, we have a pipe machine on this side so we can put the gears machine on this side. There we go. And that. Let's double check what the requests are. 200, that's good, and that's capped. Let's cap it to two stacks. That's not ridiculous, but it's also not a vast buffer. Okay, um, take this away. So this is a steel smelter, and we have steel smelting on both sides. The steel smelting is needed for these. Then we have iron smelting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six steel smelters. Um, I'm tempted to do one, two, three, four, maybe three and three. Let's start off with three and three. Um, except there's going to be a different number this side. Okay. So that's obviously not the right number, but if we trim it back. Okay, and then we're keeping the bot travel horizontal, which seems to work quite well. Okay, so that's the smelting for these engines. That's done. This is the smelting for 
these. Okay, so let's put these down. Okay, and then trim it back to three and three. And this will be slightly asymmetric. Okay, then we need to widen out the logistics. So that's where we hit it on one side. That's where we are hitting it on the other, but that's because this is a sideways build. Okay, where would we be here? Okay, again, it feels like we're off to one side somehow. Um, right, nine, 11, so this is the middle. Yeah, I'm not quite, quite sure if we've got this totally lined up. Um, but we'll figure it out. Right, put that down there for now. Put the power down there, we'll move it in a minute. Um, oh, it, no, we actually have an extra smelter here. Let's delete that off. Okay. That makes more sense. Good. So those are just the ones that are the furthest to the left, furthest to the right. And we seem to have somehow that's better. Okay, we're getting close to time. Uh, what have we got left? We have 13 smelters to fit in here. Okay, so let's start putting them in. One, two, three, four. And there's something off with the stride of the beacons there. Five. Um, well, let's put this down anyway, and we'll figure out the, the beaconing later. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have one in one extra to place down somewhere. Okay, and then we have another 13 to put this side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Right, we have something not quite going on here. Um, OK, 
Okay, so it looks like we we have one, two, three, four smelters this side. We have one, two, three, four, five this side. Okay, so that's nine. 10, 11, 12. So we are two smelters short for the party. Um, right, this needs to go. I'm wondering if I need to introduce a single gap somewhere to make all this line back up again. Yep, I'm thinking the whole of this needs to be shifted over by one. Somewhere. Because that would be 13. Except I've completely misplaced that. Let's try again. Excuse me, that is an it's alarm funny. telling me I need to go and do something. Um, but I think that's the 13th smelter. Right, so the 13th one would go in here. What we need to check is that all of these have full beacon coverage. Um, Right, and these don't. It's really important that we have full beacon coverage on everything. Okay, so these now have full beacon coverage. Yes, they do. Okay, and these now, yep. And this has four, this has 13, 13, 13, 13, whereas it should have 14. Okay. Yeah, that's the solution. Um, and is there a good reason why there's a gap here? If that was over, that doesn't affect anything. If that was over, that doesn't affect anything. So yes, we can neaten the whole of this line up. There we are. Great, and then the next job is to Well, what is the next job? Let's pick up this. Okay, so this is 11 machines wide. This is nine machines wide. Okay, so the issue is this green build. This puts everything off kilter. Um, so the green is in the middle, but there's this copper thing which is mucking everything up. So we need to shift the whole of the bottom row of the build over a little bit so that everything is central again. Okay, so if I grab the bottom row here, if we were to put it over two tiles, I think that's where it needs to go. Let's try that. Um, so it was there. Okay, I can't put it over two tiles uh, because now all the 
beacons are in stride. I can move it over three. Um, or I can leave it where it is. I think if I move it over three, I think that's the best we can do from the point of view of centering things. Okay, so this is very slightly further out than that, and this is out by about... Yeah, so this is three tiles to the side here. This is one tile to the side here. There is no better way to center it. Okay, but at least now we can work out where these drone ports need to go. Then we can do the same for the bottom build. So pick up the whole of this. Get rid of it. That's my alarm saying I really, really need to do what I just said I was going to do. Um, and that... is placing it back down as centred as possible. Ah, that's no good because the beacons are aligned. Right, check we've still got that blueprint. Okay, go back. So, are the beacons offset now? I th think so. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, so this is inherently a slightly asymmetric build. So that's as far out as that needs to go. Okay, so let's line these up. Okay, and I don't know how many rubber ports I will need, but I, I'm not sure it really matters very much. I've never seen the number of robo ports as an issue with UPS. I mean, I've never seen an example of it. Okay, I think that's our build. So next time we're gonna fire this up with some creative mode chests for the ore and see if it does actually produce engines. If it does, I will be very, very happy. Um, one of these builds powers one of these builds and they're similar sizes. Um, you can imagine a shuttle train just zipping forward into there, back into there, forward, back, forward, back. Um, yeah, so, or the other option is, let's pick up the whole of this build. Um, it, it produces 3,000 and something items a minute, so what we could do is put the build something like that, maybe push everything downwards, um, and we could have a couple of chests which just bridge across the gap. That's the other option. Um, that would that would be viable. Um, 
and then we don't need that extra train and we can push the build in by another four tiles. Um, that would look really weird, like that. But uh, I am comfortable with really weird. So we, maybe we'll do that. If we're actually doing that, I may actually look at totally rebuilding it so that the so that the electric engines are being made in the fabricators closest to the bottom. But again, there are so few of them, and it's so few items, I don't think it matters. Well, I think this is a, a task for another day. We need to make sure this works first, and we can't do that now. So um, I'm going to end it here. Thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.